want to try some more chickens in the pasture posse. I'd rather have more out there than in here. But we gotta have ones that won't escape out there. Let's try this one. Put a lid over it. This one has got a green band, so it's been in the pasture and escaped. That's strike one, so we won't even try her again. Let the rest of them out. We've got six. Did this just get opened? This just got opened and all the chickens escaped. Is it worth it to try to catch them? I don't know. We'll try it again tomorrow, I guess. We failed with the chickens. We'll try again tomorrow, but maybe we won't fail with it. We have calves getting out. That's bad. We have calves getting out of the sheep, getting back with the mamas, nursing and stuff, probably. Could be, maybe not. I'm thinking we might not be getting enough electricity out to them. So we're adjusting the fence. He's having a good time out with us. You coming with us? It's good right here. I am finding a number of spots, a number of wet branches on it. A number of times this is maybe hitting the metal for whatever reason. The electric fence, it's not put it up and walk away. It's easy to put up, but it takes maintenance. See this? Just a dead piece of grass hitting that. It's not that hard. Just gotta make a habit of walking the fence once a week or so. See like this little tag, is that hitting the metal? It's not. So we're good there. All right, it's in good hands with you guys. You're almost to the end. I'm gonna go ahead and get these chickens out of there, moved and out of their coop. This is the future of the pasture posse. <laughs> that one's a little old, but look how big and calm. That's those little fat chicks. We're raising them up. They're bigger, calmer hens, and they're gonna stay in the sheep net better. But of course, some, all these guys have stayed in. They've yet to break out. The calves have broke out right there. Are you saying the calves are over here? They're Oh, they are? Can't find them. They're not over with mom? No. Oh, good. I don't know if I believe that. It's not that I don't believe Josiah. It's that probably those calves snuck by to get to their moms, to get to the rest of the cow herd. I want y'all to notice something in this pasture as we walk by. There's clover. There's clover. There was not clover in this pasture. That's the miracle of hitting it with animals, moving them on, mowing behind them, giving it rest, giving this clover a chance to come. It's like a 30% grade north facing meaning it doesn't get that amount of sun it means a lot of water runs off of it because it's steeper <laughs> it's like rotational grazing hills everything one mama cow without calf two mama cows without calf good i think i'm gonna go ahead and take you in though we'll put you in a stall to milking time it's only an hour anyway come on let's go let's go just in case your calf finds you and gets all our yogurt we're gonna harvest yogurt today. Come on, you can do it. Hop up. Hop up, come on. There we go, good girl. Good girl, you know the drill. Sneak past stud. See, while we're down here, see those gold birds? See that big black bird? That's a Jersey giant. They're gonna be huge. Forget what the brown ones are, or the, yeah, the darker brown ones. But they're even bigger than the gold ones right now. I got Flossie in, stopped by and set the milks out. Just four gallons to separate today, Rebecca. Daddy. Look at this guy. Rebecca, he went with us though. I heard. He was very excited. You were excited? He actually followed us out there. Maybe it's because he didn't have a leash. Or even a uh, <laughs> a halter. What's it called? Harness. Harness. <laughs> he's excited. Oh, he likes to grab that. But now he smells like cow. 
because he ran through the uh, the lane. And it rained yesterday, mega. Now you're not gonna come, now that you've had the taste of home, are you? Let's go on a ride. Hey, let's go on a ride. Come on, you can ride in uh, Sally. Hey Arun, you think we got the fence hot? I think so, it's hot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> test it, taste it, touch it and see. <laughs> no, we gotta go turn it back on. All right, you got him back in? Yeah. Okay. This whole fence was knocked over. Oh, all the way down there, and this, uh, what's it called, single one was yeah. all the way there. What makes me think is, this wasn't on, because there was a break. Yeah. They knocked it over. But look, Greg Judy's sheep, they didn't go anywhere. <laughs> they didn't go anywhere. She's Thank you, Greg Judy, for selecting the ones, breeding the ones, that aren't getting sick, that aren't breaking out, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you want to learn how to pick up a net? Sure. All right. Let's get the net. Look at there. The cat will follow us out here, but not Teddy. Look, look. <laughs> stop it. Because if he stops, he stops. <laughs> so, Rune will pick this up and we'll set it up for today's move for the sheep. You right handed or left handed? Me? Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, cool. And it does matter, and it, depending on what hand you are, depends on which side of the net you pick up from. It's kind of like opening a feed bag. You got to do it from a certain side. We got our net up, and I just realized we didn't feed the pigs, and we haven't got them the skim buckets. Now let's set up the sheep right here. It's where the cows were yesterday. Teaching Arun how to do it. He's a quick learner. The dude is a hard worker, smart guy. It's uh. An honor to have him helping us. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. What's going on in here? We're getting ready for a cream separation. I came all the way up here because I wanted to learn how to cream separate. We got Ann, Ann, Ann all the way from Florida. Yep. To and learn you know how to cream separate. You know why she wants to cream separate? Why? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Have you ever had homegrown, homemade ice cream? Um, no. Maple, never. maple syrup sweetened? No, Man. never. Mm. I'm inside. Grass fed. And can she help? To milk the cow today. <laughs> yep. Did you guys get it turned on? Yes. I'm gonna go test it. It's not hitting. Somewhere it's not connected. Oh, well, there it is. I forgot to hook it up. Oh look, we got a bust in our line. We need to fix that. Okay, that should be on. It's on. Good deal. Hitting good. Keep these cows in. I didn't think about getting over. Anyway. Could I use that tree over there to catapult? Woo! Ducks still have plenty of feed. Look at these precious guys. <laughs> Y'all are fun. Get them herding together. They're not too bad on these waters. It's just backwash. It's not manure or anything. Let's do move it though. Exposed! Oh yeah, look, look, I'm glad I moved it. We're kinda soiling the area. You think Cornish Cross blew up the place. You know, they scratch a little bit. These ducks aren't gonna scratch at all. This is just gonna be an explosion in green grass. I don't know if it's because there's just 20 of them, or they're ducks, but they spend more time under the, under the shelter. Which is good because, oh look, one's picking out a feather. It's good because they aren't subject to aerial attack. And they've all survived even being so little. You know, Rebecca asked me if it was worth it to cream separate. Because there's only four gallons. I mean, we would have flossies today, which would be two more. But we need to make yogurt, so I'm gonna use that for yogurt. And then I thought, oh, what about ice cream? Yeah, and your cousins are coming. Yeah. It'll be fun to have some ice cream. 
Look who we have here. Yeah, the same person. Now we're going to get it done. Get in a little closer. Pull the bucket in a little closer. Me? Yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay. No, so no, put the bucket in even closer. No, not that bucket. Oh. The one you're sitting oh, on. Oh, but what? <laughs> you mean keep this? going in, keep going in. That's close. As close as you can. That's as close as I can. <laughs> oh, look. I did get it. But she's faster. Look. Oh, she's pro. Look at, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. So, Anne Ann is <laughs> Rebecca's mom's sister. <laughs> Rebecca's mom's sister. Yes. Yep. Yes. So. And she's my great aunt. That's right. You're great aunt. Yeah, she, I, that's why you're um, Auntie Andy. You, I'm your. How come I can do one hand and you can't do the left? It's what? hard. <laughs> Lily makes it look easy. Lily. Yeah. There we go. I think I got one hand going. You got it. Okay. But not as fast as her. But that's because she does this all the time. You have the squeezable uh, teeth. She has it. That doesn't work. Look at that. Lily, I'm keeping up with you. <laughs> that's 100 degrees when it comes out of there, Ann. I believe you because I just hit me with it. <laughs> it's going to go straight to making our yogurt. That's what you need it. You said ice yogurt cream. Yogurt at 100. You said ice cream. Well, the stuff you're doing on in there oh. is ice cream. She, I, I worried her there a little bit. <laughs> well, you don't like yogurt as much as you like ice cream? I, I love yogurt. I love all the the dairies. All right. I am an old pro at it now. But I'm only a pro with one hand. Okay. I'm coming in. I'm going to look that one. So, Ann. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever imagine? <laughs> no. Little Becky. <laughs> no. Little Becky would be spearheading us getting a cow. No. Little Becky was going to be um, the sweet teacher. Oh. She was going to be the, 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 the one every kid wanted to have. Kind of yeah. like her cousin, um, like her cousins, Lauren and yeah. Leslie. They're those teachers. And um, yeah, that's what she was going to be. And then she met you. <laughs> <laughs> I and messed it all up. Here's the first thing I heard about uh, uh, Becca's boyfriend. He has a truck. And he has a grill, and he's got steaks. <laughs> Have grill, we'll travel. That's right. I'll put that grill on the back of that <laughs> That's truck. the first story I ever heard about you. <laughs> and what'd you say? He's all right? <laughs> I said, hey, that's pretty cool. He's 16, whatever, or and he's going around with the grill, steaks. Smart boy. And then you had dogs, <laughs> St. Bernard's. Yep. And that's when we got to be there. And we happened to be there those two days that the, the babies were born. Yeah. The that same was and a were, great experience. That, that was a good first impression of me. Yeah. So it was a good one. And so have you turned out to be, of course you have. <laughs> Mountain boarding? That's that. Yeah. To, to, to the Great American Farm Tour? You're not afraid to try. Oh, thank you. No, you're not afraid to try. Because if you fail, what do you do? You get back up. That's what you That's do. What if every time you make a mistake, even on your videos, if you say like, uh, I think it's two and two is Five, I mean four. You, you're good. You just, yeah. you're not a problem. So, you're the kind of person that everybody wants to have in their family. Thanks. Yeah. How'd it go, Grandma? Good. We're all done. I got just enough for ice cream. There we go. Was it worth it? Ooh, yeah. It's a lot of setup and cleanup. Yep. And the ice cream's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. Okay. For breakfast, Lily, you making a smoothie? You're making a smoothie for the Ninos. Making a smoothie for Mom. Peanut butter milkshake smoothie. Cashews. Thanks. Got vanilla over here. You got vanilla. Peanut butter. Boy, we're serious about peanut butter. What kind of smoothie are you making, Lily? Chocolate smoothie. Chocolate peanut butter smoothie. And this is called peanut butter cashew milkshake. You just added your honey. Yeah. I've added my dates, my cashews, my coconut. I need some water. You done with yours? That looks delicious. Good job, Lily. Here we go. Let's, let's plan mom's thing. Here you go, mother. Thank you. Enjoy. Mm. Delicious. <laughs>